Hi there, you're watching this video because you have a high SEO space score and or you're wondering what to do next after you've fixed technical SEO issues on your Squarespace website. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through what really matters when it comes to SEO and a number of things that you can do in order to make sure that you're attracting target customers on your Squarespace website. And jumping straight into an example, this is actually the SEO space website. As you can see, we've got our score pretty high, 93 out of 100. So really, really happy with where it's sitting right now. Of course, there's some things that we need to be improving. But when I actually dive into high priority tasks, you'll see there's no longer any high priority tasks left. So we've ticked a lot off when it comes to SEO. And maybe you're in a similar position. Your SEO score is high. And you're wondering what should you do next? And what I'm just going to quickly walk you through is this chart here. This is a study brought together by First Page Sage. And essentially what this shows is a weighted list of ranking factors on Google search engines. So these are the things that matter when it comes to ranking your Squarespace website higher up on Google so you can attract target customers. And as you can see here, the six most important things when it comes to ranking your Squarespace website higher. The first is consistently publishing engaging content. Then we've got keywords in meta title tags. So this is just placing your keywords in SEO titles, SEO descriptions. Then we've got backlinks, niche expertise. Backlinks, by the way, are links from other websites to yours. Then we have user engagement and freshness. And then when we look here, these are other technical issues which are still important, but not as important as the six most important issues here. And the key thing that this highlights is that technical SEO, i.e. making sure your technical foundations are in the right place, getting your SEO score higher and higher, is just one part when it comes to the overall SEO picture. And in fact, you can get your SEO score to 100 out of 100 and still potentially get very little traffic and maybe not attract your target customers if you still don't do the other things when it comes to SEO. And just starting from the top, consistently publishing engaging content. And maybe this isn't something that you wanted to hear, but you do need to make sure that you're constantly adding to your website and writing blog posts that show you're the expert in the niche that you want to rank in. Now, SEO space does make this easier. If I head back over to our dashboard and either click here, blog post ideas, or head to keyword research, and then blog post ideas here. This is actually SEO spaces blog post ideas feature which is going to give you ideas based upon a content gap analysis. And a content gap analysis essentially gives you blog post suggestions based upon keywords that your competitors rank for that you don't. So by writing these blog posts, not only are you consistently publishing engaging content, but you're also targeting keywords that your competitors are ranking for and may be attracting your target customers through instead of you. So even though a big part of SEO space is obviously our SEO score, we do have plenty of features that help you with the other areas of SEO. Now heading to keywords in meta title tags. Now, if you've used our extension, you'll know that you can add a keywords to scans to get recommendations of how to rank higher for a specific keyword. But you can actually take this even further. If I actually go to site audit, SEO tasks, then head over to optional, you'll see here, this is pages without a keyword added. And as you can see here, we've actually got a lot of pages on our website where we haven't actually scanned the web page with a keyword. So after you've focused on writing blog posts, one thing you can do is go through all the other pages on your website and do keyword research in order to find the keywords that you want them to rank for and ultimately scan them with a keyword. And again, SEO Space's keyword research functionality makes that easier because you can either go to Keyword Explorer where you can get keyword ideas for keywords to add to that web page, or even the competitor analysis. Then moving on to the third most important thing, this is backlinks. Now, just taking SEO Spaces site, for example, and heading over to the competitor analysis. So you can actually do this on your own website. I'm going to go to the US here and press search. As you can see here, this is showing the domain authority of SEO Spaces website and the number of backlinks that you have. Now, backlinks are links from other websites to yours, and they increase something called your domain authority, as you can see here. And your domain authority is simply a score given to your website 
that deems how much an authority you are on the internet. The higher your domain authority, the more likely you'll rank for more keywords and more competitive keywords. And again, these are things that aren't taken into account into your SEO score because it is really relative based upon the keyword you're going for and the position of your website. But again, if you have no backlinks and no domain authority, even if you've got a score of 100 out of 100, you're less likely to rank for more competitive keywords. So if you've got your SEO space score up, you now need to turn and focus onto things like backlinks to boost your domain authority and ultimately rank your site for competitive keywords. Now, by the time you watch this video, there may be the opportunity to actually view the backlinks that your website has and your competitors have in order to help build a campaign in order to build backlinks. But that really is a topic for another video. So just heading back to this chart now, you'll see the next thing is niche expertise. And as I've already mentioned, this is showing you're an expert in the topic that you want to rank for. So for example, at SEO space, we made the SEO plugin for Squarespace with the Squarespace SEO experts. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything on our website through showcasing case studies, our credentials, writing blog posts, that we are the Squarespace SEO experts. And you want to do the exact same. You want to be adding web pages and also refining web pages based upon analyzing your competitors to see what they do to make sure that you're showing to Google and to users that you're the expert in your niche. Because this is going to show to Google that you're the expert. It's going to make you rank higher. And hopefully it's also going to mean that your user engagement boosts. And user engagement is essentially how people engage with your website. If you've got a website that ranks well, but people leave after a few seconds, it's going to be a red flag for Google that indicates that your website isn't that helpful. So you need to be making sure that your website is user friendly and you're encouraging users to stay on your website for longer and longer. And then finally, we have freshness. And this is essentially making sure that your website is fresh, has up to date content, and you're making sure that you're staying up to date with the latest SEO trends. Now, as you've already seen, SEO space has got a ton of features to help you here. We also have different videos across our YouTube channel in order to help out. And we're constantly adding new features in order to help you. And to give you one example of that, this is actually the SEO space homepage. You can see our score is 100 out of 100. And we've recently integrated SEO spaces AI into the plugin in order to give you extra recommendations outside of our plugin to help you improve your SEO. So for example, here, I can click how do I improve this web page's SEO. And this is essentially going to give you an SEO consultant on your shoulder, analyzing this web page to give you specific recommendations of what to do to improve this web page's SEO based upon the other things that are going to move the needle outside of your SEO space score. So these are things that aren't included in your score, but they're extra recommendations which are going to help you move the needle, such as making sure that your content is high quality, you've covered other technical aspects of your website, you've improved the user experience to make sure your user engagement is good. And you've also covered external factors such as your backlink strategy, social media integration, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So even though I don't want to put another thing on your plate, ultimately SEO is an ongoing process, you always need to refine it, you always need to be analyzing the competitors, and you always need to be doing the things that I've mentioned in order to attract your target customers. Now, even though that may take a lot of time, one thing I can promise you from personal experience, SEO can be a goldmine. You can see here that SEO space ranks position two, just below Squarespace for Squarespace SEO agency. And as of recording this video, we actually got two leads via our website purely through this page that ranks for this keyword. So even though SEO can take a long time and there's a lot of things in order to consider, which we're hopefully doing a great job of helping you out so far, when you nail your SEO, you are going to be attracting target customers on autopilot. So it's definitely worth investing the time and effort into your website after you've already improved your SEO score. Your SEO score should be the foundation. That should be the starting point. And then you can then work through the other things I've talked you through in this video in order to push your website further up search engines for other keywords. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to SEO Spaces Support in the bottom right hand corner. Subscribe to SEO Spaces YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.